Hey everyone, so welcome back. Um, so in our last video we had a look at the Amazon Basic Pencils and today I wanted to have a quick look at the outline pens. So these are a new set of outline pens that I did get to um, try out. So normally I do like to outline my drawings. Um, I do have like thin um, lining pencils that I use just to like kind of highlight the outsides. More recently I have been outlining with colour just to see the differences and things like that. Like I say drawing is just a hobby so I got these to try. So they do come in a pack of 12 each with a different colour. And as you can see along the top you can see all of the coloured caps. So I'm just going to open them up and we will have a look at our first impressions together. So we do get colours ranging from reds, pink, orange, and we have yellow, gold, green, blues, purples, greys and black. So there's quite a large um, variety. So we take the red out, we can see it is an outline pen, it has a glittery red top so I'm interested to see whether the line is going to be like a glittery red as well. Um, so it looks like they do have a fine nib and we do get some instructions on the side as well so we need to shake the pen before using we need to press the nib down three or four times to release the ink and then put the cap back on after use so quite straightforward and um, very similar to like paint markers and things like that that I've used in the past so I'm super excited to give those a go so before we press any of the paint this is the size of the nib, it is fairly small, so we'll see what kind of details we could get with those as well. So what we will try is a few of the colours. Again, I've got some cardstock here, so we will do like a little swatch of some of the colours. So we're going to do a red, an orange, let's try a gold, green, blue, and then we will also go with a black as well. Um, it looks more like a grey on the cap as well but we will see how it goes. So we're just gonna pop those to one side. So we will have to activate these as well. So like I say, we need to shake it before use. You can hear the ball inside rattling around, just loosening up some of the paint. As you can see, it is clear. So if we do draw with it now, nothing will happen. So we just need to press the pen down a few times. And as you can see, the nib has now gone to like a red color because the paint has now come through. So we can just give it a little swatch and what's very cool about this is it does kind of like have a um, silver inside and it has like a very thin red outline. It's very very interesting. So I'm interested to see if the others are all the same. Again they all come with the same instructions. Same outline colour, the only difference is, is the lids are easy to see. And you can see none of them are activated, so again we're just going to push this a few times. And see if any of the pink comes out. And you can see here the paint is starting to fill up the nib. You can see it's gone like a darker orange. They're very, very cool to watch the paint pens so again we're just going to do the same and I think the orange one is a bit easier to see so the orange one does have like an orange outline and like a silver shimmery inside so they are so cool to look at again moving on to the yellow So they're dead easy to push down, you can see it's just filling up with the ink now. They don't take much force at all. Um, the only thing that I will say about pens like this is they do have quite a strong smell to them. Um, so if you are using them I'd make sure that you do have like a, a window open or something like that just to help aerate the smell. So we do have the yellow. Again, the yellow is kind of hard to see. It does get lost in the shimmer because it is quite a duller colour. I'm hoping the green one will do well. So this one you should be able to see really well. Um, start to fill the pen. 
see if we can catch some of it on camera so you can see now the ink is coming through and it does go to like a very darkish green colour so I don't want to press it too much because I don't want the ink to go loose but as you can see it does take over that yellow little nib and it's now a beautiful green colour so we'll try it again just make sure that there is enough ink in there to make them nice and juicy so this one is a little bit scratchy so what I'm going to do is just push it down a few more times see if we can get some more ink in there and that does go down much better so as you can see the first time it was like you can see like the little white gaps it was a little bit scratchy there but once we pushed it through a few more times we did get a nice juicy colour there. You can see again it is the silver with a green outline. We do have a blue next. And it quickly went to a dark blue colour. This one is very, very nice and like a juicy pen. Uh, it goes down beautifully the blue one super happy with that one so it seems that this one you can see as well has a blue outline i still think the orange one is the one that stands out the most out of all of them and then we're going to try the darkest one in the set the gray just to see how that one goes down and then i might actually go back and have a look at some of the colors that we decided not to try out um, just because the orange one seems to have been the nicest one or like the easiest one to have seen so I wonder if it's the lighter colours that are easiest to see so that is the the black or the grey um, it does look black to be fair on the paper but I think it is grey on the cap and again it is silver but you can see it looks like it's already had an outline drawn around it which is really interesting and unique um, so the colours that we didn't do uh, were like a yellow and a light blue. Um, there are some pinks in there as well, but I'm just going to try these two out as well, just as like a little extra. Just because the yellow on this one is much brighter, and I'm hoping it'll be much different to that one. And as you can see, it is changing the colour of the nib, but it is going like a funny, almost looks like a green colour. Um, so I'm interested to see how this one goes down. So it does look like the lighter colours are a little bit easier to see. This is more like a highlighter yellow. Uh, as you can see the original yellow is above it. I'm trying to get it in a light where it's not so much reflecting the, si the silver but looking at the colours. And it looks like it's been kind of gone over with a standard highlighter. Um, same with as the orange it looks like a highlighter and the orange also looks like it has lost some of the shimmer from the silver as well so they do have kind of like a very interesting um, like way of drying as well the red looks the same as when I put it down the orange is a bit more like a highlighter now it looks like it's been colored in with a highlighter and then maybe gone over with a pen and um, but I think this yellow looks kind of similar and then just for the final one, I do want to check this blue, just because it is a much, much lighter blue as well. You can see it filling up quite nicely. So they do go on the paper really nicely. Um, they would be awesome for some kind of projects as they do have kind of like that shimmer effect as well. And that is the final blue one. You can see it does have kind of like a subtle blue outline. So they are really unique and interesting. I'm super excited to see what kind of things um, you can make with these, what kind of art projects. They are very simple in the packaging. Like I say, they do have quite a strong smell to them, so I would advise opening a window up. But they're such a unique art supply, and I really love how some of them look. Especially the, the black, it looks really nice on the outside. The blue the outline looks really nice as well i did really like the orange but i'm not too keen on how it's dried so i'll be interested to try that out some more and the red and green also look quite nice as well 
So let me know what you think of these pens in the comments below. And if you are also into art and crafts or anything like that, I'd be super interested to know. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.